What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is Tuesday, January 16th. It is about 12.30 in the morning. We were in since 11 p.m. and today is the second snowstorm of 2024. You can see on my terrace star here, which I just pulled in, you can see the snow is melting where it's warm, but there's about a quarter of an inch here will go where it is colder up on the dump out of here, it's the same thing. So there's really no snow yet. We've been in since 11, kind of just hanging out. I'll show you outside real quick. There's a little bit of snow out there, not really much at all. Rodrigo's in his truck right there, just hanging out. But Vinny's been out on the mains, taking care of them there down to Blacktop. Rodrigo went out yesterday during the day and sprayed liquid down all of the mains. So as soon as Vinny hit him with salt, they melted right off and they were down to blacktop within about a half hour. So we've kind of just all been hanging out waiting for the real snow to come. They're calling anywhere from I think three to five. So we'll see what happens. But for now, we're just hanging out. I think I'm gonna go kick back, try and catch some Z's and then maybe around three or four o'clock, we will head out and start plowing our route before the morning commute. I don't know if you guys have ever been up here, but this is our office. And one thing about being the boss's son is I get couch privileges. So while everybody else is stuck sitting in their trucks, I get to go and lay down up here in this recliner, throw my feet up and Catch some Z's. All right guys, so it is about 1.45 in the morning now. And before we get too far behind, we are gonna head on out and scrape our route. Then we'll come back and rest a bit more just trying to get this truck out of the garage here it's a bit tight if you've ever seen any of my videos here working you know how tight it is you can see my mirror is just about touching there and I have a wind plow on the other side I can fold my mirror in if I have to but we should just be able to sneak by See my mirror is super close there. Yep, made it out. So it is very tight pulling in and out of our shop, but we make do. But I need to throw all of my lights on. We got lights there, we got lights there, we got strobes and spreaders there. Let me go shut this garage door real quick. All right guys, so I'm pulling up to my first road here. You can see there's not much on the ground at all. any salt in my truck so we're pretty light in the back end and it's a little slippery but we'll see what happens if we got to throw it on we will Some of the 
these cul-de-sacs are super tight and I barely make it around. cul-de-sac we're coming down to is pitched down towards like the right side and my truck always wants to slide as I come around it so we'll see what happens right now This will be a good test to see if we need to throw the four wheel drive on. Definitely spinning a little bit. It's actually not terrible. You might be able to hear the truck revving out. So this is the first neighborhood I did and you can tell there's barely anything on top of what I plowed. Just a slight little dusting. So we're definitely good for hopefully a few hours and then we can come on back out here. But I'm going to head over to our shop and get some rest for a bit and then when there's enough snow to plow, we'll come back out. All right, guys, I just pulled back up into our shop here. I turned my truck off and I pulled up the weather here. It says four o'clock. It looks like we'll have a little bit of a break. Five o'clock, just cloudy. Flurries at six, seven. 8 a.m. It looks like it starts snowing. They're saying a quarter of an inch, so not really much there. Let's see, quarter of an inch at 9. Quarter of an inch at 10. 11 o'clock, cloudy. 12, cloudy. 1 o'clock, we got a quarter of an inch. 2 o'clock, we got a quarter of an inch. And then it's pretty much gone. Three o'clock, there's another quarter of an inch. So they're saying maybe maybe an inch and a half or so. I didn't add that up, but it sounded like six or seven quarters of an inch. So it's going to be a slow one. 
I'm gonna head up into our office, try and knock out for an hour or two, and then we'll check on it. But at this rate, it looks like we're gonna have a few hours of downtime before we have to go back out there and take care of the roads again. guys it is about 5 30 in the morning now and i just loaded up with salt and i turned four-wheel drive off so let's see how the truck does with a full load on the back and no four-wheel drive but if we need to throw it back on we obviously will so i'm gonna head out to my route, push it all back, and throw some salt down before the morning commute starts. I'm sure there's people out on the road already, but we want to get out there and make the roads as safe as possible for everyone while they are traveling to work this morning. So that's why we head out again right now. It hasn't snowed much at all. There's maybe a dusting since last time, but we're just gonna get out there push everything back, throw some salt down, and see if it'll help us fight the heavy snow that is supposed to come in a few hours. All right guys, so I just finished pushing back my last little intersection here. I'm about to run through this neighborhood and throw some salt down in here, and then I got two more neighborhoods and a couple dead ends I'm gonna run through. But I'm gonna put the camera down for now get through these and I will catch back up with you guys when I am done here. All right guys, I'm on my last road here, pushing it back. I'm also throwing some salt down behind me. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that in the mirror, but we're salting as we go. I am going to turn around and double up the salt. course on my last road somebody pulls their car out but it wasn't there all night so not too mad about that one but you can see the salt I already salted this cold a second starting to melt the snow right there but I am gonna turn around at the end here double back and resalt everything again just to get extra down I am gonna head back to my shop after this I tried turning my liquid on but you see this right here it says no flow so there's something going on with it it wasn't coming out and obviously it tells you right there as well so I'm gonna meet Rodrigo back there we're gonna dive into that and see if we can figure that out once I get back there all 
All right, guys. So it is about 11 a.m. now. We are at blah, blah, blah. we are at our 12-hour mark. So the storm has been pretty slow. The beginning of it was slow. It picked up a little bit around I don't know five six a.m. And then for the past hour or so, it's been like hailing out. I don't even know if the camera is picking it up, but it's basically raining. It's freezing rain. So it's been a pretty slow one. Definitely don't have anywhere from three to five inches there's maybe an inch and a half two inches so not much but we're about to head out and check our route hopefully the salt is fighting off all of this freezing rain if we have to scrape it we will um i got my liquid working there is a filter in the back that was all clogged up so we pulled that apart salt was all clogged cleaned it out and it started working fine but while i was here Vinny came back and there's road work on one of his routes and he hit something right in the middle of his plow and it bent the blade, which was causing it to basically leave a foot and a half or so trail right in the middle of where he would be plowing. So we pulled that blade off and put a new one on for him. But of course, all of those bolts were frozen. We had to heat them up with the torch in order for the gun to pull them off. So it took about an hour or so to get him in and out of here back out on the road. So I'm about to head out, hopefully, my route isn't terrible it's been uh probably an hour and a half to two hours since i was last out there but let's get out there see what it looks like and we'll see what we have to do when we're there
All right, guys, it is 4.30 in the afternoon. And it's still snowing. Every single weatherman, every single weather report, anybody that you could have asked had this storm out of here at 3 p.m. But there's a good chance, if you're watching this video, you know that the weathermen are never right. And this is a perfect example. We've been in since 11 p.m. It's 4.30. I can't do math right now. You guys do the math. That's how many hours we've been here. We want to go home. I have one of my neighborhoods left. I do three neighborhoods and then a couple dead ends. I've gone through every single one except for one. I have to go through, scrape it off, throw some salt down, and hopefully this snow stops because if it doesn't, I did all of this for nothing. If we have to go back out and scrape again, that's going to be crazy. But while I'm here, actually, I just threw a little bit more than half a bucket on my truck. But look at how much salt we used. I don't think this channel has ever seen this salt bin this empty. I don't think ever. I don't know if I've ever seen it this empty. There is barely any salt left. Usually we have it all the way up to like here, but we have a few trucks on order for tomorrow. Obviously we need it. So we probably could fit 10 trucks in there, but let me get out to my route, scrape it off, salt it, and then I will catch back up with you guys when I'm done. All right guys, we are officially done. It is 6.30 on Tuesday night. So we're looking at 19 and a half hours for maybe two inches of snow, probably an inch and a half. That is terrible. If only it would snow an inch and a half in an hour and then we could plow it and get out of here. But no, it has to linger for almost a full day and give us absolutely no snow but it is gonna be freezing the next couple days i don't think there's a day above freezing for like the next week so the snow will be here to stay i'm sure we will get calls of ice and stuff like that throughout the week we do have two guys working through the night just keeping an eye on the village that way we can try to avoid most of these calls and hopefully the residents see that we have people out and they're not calling Village Hall complaining about ice spots because our guys are going to be driving through the entire village all night and hitting any spot that they think is worthy of being taken care of. So we have guys on it. Hopefully Vinny is not getting calls all night. Hopefully I don't get calls. Hopefully my dad doesn't get calls. But I think that is going to wrap it up for this one. Tomorrow we will be back here and we will be fixing stuff that broke. Hopefully there's not too much. I know Kevin had a couple things upstate like bolts backing out of blades and stuff like that. My uncle, I think, blew his power steering pump. Last storm he blew a power steering line and Rodrigo said that he thinks the pump blew today. So we gotta figure out what's going on with that. Might be the filter there's a, a drop in filter it could be clogged and that could be causing an issue we don't really know we got to dive into it and figure that out but besides that i don't think anything else major happened my truck is fine rodrigo's truck's fine vinny's truck is fine everybody else's trucks should be good so hopefully tomorrow we will find out when we get down here but that's gonna wrap it up if you guys have any questions or comments definitely leave them down below i'll get back to you as soon as i can hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys next time peace